I took an existing design for an electric wheelchair, made it so that it would be theoretically easier to use for people with more limited hand motions and stuff, and to use it safer. That knife project was the beginning, but truly got stuck into it in my third year, focusing on wheelchairs and that kind of design. It was just nice to take that from random sketches I was doing to refining it a little and to actually printing it out and seeing the finalised thing. For the major studio project, I just decided to do an entire concept for an electric wheelchair. Modularity for a wheelchair, like you could swap in the wheels and stuff for treads if you wanted to, swap in various panels and stuff. Easily able to swap parts to customise the chair. Yeah, I think this is a really interesting project. And I think that considering the user's needs, which is something that's been part of design for a very long time, but perhaps not always considered as much as it should be. So my condition is called Duchenne muscular dystrophy and basically it is down to your genetics. One part of it goes wrong and then your muscles aren't able to produce one of the things that repairs them properly and therefore slowly leads to things getting harder and harder. The frequency of new chair designs is very slow, like glacially slow. When this chair was new it was I'd say almost the cost of a small car. It did definitely frustrate me and like, I'm not the only person I know of that has taken to modifying their chairs. We should be able to express ourselves through our chairs just like anyone else expresses themselves through other means. I can't think of a better time to be a product 3D or industrial design student. We've been producing designers that have worked in all manner of different fields, medical, fairground rides, fashion, entrepreneurial, all kinds of things. So. Um, you're prepared for a broad range of options. Good design always very much seems to be focused on the people actually using it. Bad design can very much leave people feeling like their needs were not considered at all. At the end of the day, design is all about solving problems.